Maybe we can go with something like Rifts and Rogues. How about that? The Rifts and the Rogues. I was just looking that one up online in case anybody wondered where the heck I've gone. The Rifts and the Rogues. Hey, Roxanne. Hey ho, we've got Steve and Karen on as well. How are we doing, folks? You see on board, Richard. Richard O'Connell. Good to see you on. So I was just looking for, how do I call the game? How do I differentiate between Team A and Team B? The reds and the blacks. Is it the 12s and the 13s? Is it the double A's and the triple A's? Is it us and them? Give me some ideas, folks. Give me some ideas. What makes most sense in your heads? Michael, good to see you on there. Yeah, so I got like, this is just taking high quality video that I'm gonna use later on. So high quality. This is Facebook live streaming. Yeah. Uh, that's just the pub to decorate. I try and take a few stills during the game as well. So they're all lined up at basically the same point. Okay. As long as I'm following the action on one, I get it on all three. Nice. And then I've got my mic here for a play-by-play. -play. That's incredible. <laughs> I'm a one-man band. I just need a drum on my back. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, getting some attention from the other parents here. Melissa. Hi, Melissa. Good back to you. Reds and blacks. Okay, we got reds and blacks. I think I can go with that. Good to see you there, Greta. Just join us as well in time. So let's get a big, let's go Canes on for this one. I'm gonna call out our starting lineup for you. Frankie, good to see you joining us there, Frankie. Call out our starting lineup when I see it. Right now, we have number 34, Kai Salmon, in goal. He's gonna be backstopping our team. We were just getting a last few moments of encouragement and instruction. So here we go. Let's see. Oliver Cowan, 29. Kenny Greer, 53. And Eric Brockman, 90. We have Cooper Thomas. And we have Ryan Dickman as our starting lineup in defense. Eric Brookman gets an early start off and a shot. Oh! Seconds in to the game, breaking the ice in a convincing way, laying down a little bit of a challenge, I might say. One, zero to the Reds. This is going to be a game of uh, high expectation. Oh, so face off one, but the Blacks now pick it up, get it back onto uh, Coop Thomas in defense. Kenny Greer getting that one up, dumping it down in deep. Getting round the back. Being chased by Eric Buckman. Eric coming all the way around, going up the boards, eluding his man, but getting a big stick check to make him drop that puck. 15. Hayden. Passing that one over to his defenseman. Cooper Thomas, and that's gone all the way back down for icing on the far side. Bert from Mary Poppins. <laughs> oh, the rookies and the old timers. I like that one, Keith. But who's the rookies? I need some help on that one. I guess the rookies are the younger folk. But then, are we talking the coaching staff? Oops, it's going to be just outside the zone here. Linan, how are you doing? Good to see you joining us there. 
pumped in deep by the Blacks, getting it all the way around. Hayden fighting uh, to get that one. Gets to him eventually. Some good stick work by the Black Four checkers there, getting one out in front of goal. Riley Lawton passing that one up to Alex Kousis, breaking it out, looking nicely across, gets it to Chris Swerblier. Chris coming in a little bit wide, taking it round, looking like he was going to drop it off, but not. Taking it out, Chris keeping that one, but some great stick work. I think they've had a bit of coaching on the stick work piece, getting that puck away from our offense. And they dump that one for a line change. That's going to be Hayden Pascal picking it up. Coming up off the boards nicely by uh, James Tompkins. I know him on the other team. Getting it back to uh, in the black blue liners, black and blue liners. He might feel that way after a couple of rounds with this team. Puck comes far side out to Riley. Riley's trying to bring that one up to Alex. Can't quite get there. Wins it. Gets it back to Alex now. That's going to get up to uh, Alex and Ryan Stewart. <coughs> Ryan having to uh, stop on that blue line. Puck comes back out of zone. Off to uh, James McElhaney. But uh, the Blacks pumping that one up. Not going to go for icing. Left that for a line change. Discretion being the better part of Valor. Ryan Stewart picking that one up with a head of steam. Ryan coming in. Ryan with a great opportunity. And it's in too. We have some laser shooting. Oops. That was my other phone taking a tumble. That was some laser shooting here by the 12U team. Going up to 12.45 left in the first period. And a good shout out there to Gloria. That's Riley's grandma joining us from home. Able to uh, see that second goal go in. So Isaac here doing a dipsy do, flashing left and right. Oh, and a good shot just past the post. Looking dangerously like three, but the Blacks are now coming out with it. Coming up these near boards, going in, and a shot a little bit wide, but just pushed a little bit further wide by Kai. Blacks now have that puck on the far board. So Ryan Dickman coming in on defense to help that one move along. Just came out of the zone before it was pushed back in offside. So we're going to get a face off just outside the zone. Laura just joined us. Hello there to Laura. So 2-0 the score to us, the Reds. In case you weren't able to pick that up from the scoreboard. So Reds now picking that one up. Eric Bruckman coming up a little bit alone. Kenny Greer herring in, looking for some rebound type of action. Not getting any. The puck went straight through the blue zone. R Oliver Cowan pushing that one down deep. Kenny trying to help out. The puck going a little bit deeper. Oh, puck just eluding between, Riley, between Riley's legs to come out. Hayden Pascal pushing that one back up. Off, um, icing's being called off. It went through too many people, too many legs. Black's able to push that one up and out. Hayden, horsepowering back. Getting that up behind his own goal, trying to clear it out. The Blacks are pretty good on where they stick their sticks, or where they put their sticks to cut out passes and uh, stop our forward progress. But two goals to zero, it is regardless. So Blacks now have that puck behind our goal. Hayden coming in and bodying a man off the puck. We come out with Oliver Cowan up the boards past Kenny Greer. Kenny trying to get it out and over. Can't do that. Goes far side. They change side. Oh, a whiff on the uh, attempted shot there. Alex Kousis stolen. They've got some good stick work going on here. If ever there was a clinic in good stick work, it's going to be seen here, I feel. These guys are really good. So it gets far side to Riley. Riley getting in there nicely ahead of the four checker, getting that puck out into the neutral zone. Dumped deep back in. Chased immediately by two. Hayden Pascal looking to cut one off. Couldn't quite get there, but a great defensive move there by I think that was Chris Werblier. It might have been uh, Keith McElhaney. Uh, Keith. Keith's not on the ice tonight. It's James. Um, Alex trying to 
get a pass there to get it out of the zone. He finally does, and Ryan Stewart picks this one up. Similar situation before. Looking to go round his man. Can't, or decides not to. Gets it back to Liam Jarvis. Liam with a big shot through behind goal. Two of the defenders pick that one up. James trying to jump, come in. Chris Werbley a pickpockets that one from one of the defenders. Nice backdoor attempt on the on the post there by Ryan. Couldn't quite get that through. Picked up now by uh, Alex. Alex looking to get one across. Couldn't quite get there. Tangled up in feet of the defenders. But they finally get it up and coming out. We've got Liam Jarvis and uh, James McElhaney removing man from puck. Getting that possession back. Getting it to Chris Werbley. Tries to kick it up and out. Can't get it all the way there. Liam Jarvis picks that one up on the near boards. Brings it all the way up. Gets into zone. Oh, an offside called. Oh, my word, that's a little bit unfair. Oh. <laughs> Barbara. Good to see you there, Barbara. So face off just underneath my camera here. Comes back to the Hurricanes. Cooper Thomas over to uh, Ryan Dickman. Gets it up to Liam. Liam's uh, first time I called his name tonight, but... Uh, Good to be able to do that. He's getting in the action. Isaac, Isaac with a good shot. Ooh, that was a good juicy bounce out. But uh, no one there to be able to take it. Bounces off the top of the blue across the boards there in front of the, uh, the Blacks bench. So called out of play. I'm going to take that face off inside the circle to the Black goalkeeper's right-hand side. 8.53 remaining in the first period. <coughs> So black defense taking that one out. Cooper Thomas almost trying to get a grip on it to, uh, to have a shot, but uh, electing instead to push that one all the way down. Nice work by the black offense to push that one out. Stick and skate combining together. Isaac, oh, almost off to the races on that one. Oh, high stick touch. Better let a black touch that first. He does. Oh, is that a penalty being called? Yep. Penalty being called on something. I really don't know what that was. <clears throat> who knows what that action was from... Who knows that action? Little sort of holding his fist up black power type of sign by the referee. I don't know what that is. But for us, it's bad news because we're on the penalty kill. <clears throat> Two minutes to five on four. Eight minutes and 19 seconds left. Ryan Dickman in the box. Eric Bruckman at center. <clears throat> Face off comes to the Blacks defensive line. We're pushing that one all the way back around. I think that's testament to the defensive power of the Reds here, keeping it away from the front of the goal. The Reds do get an opportunity, backhand shot attempt by uh, the attacker there, but wider goal. Kai not really challenged at all. <clears throat> They're starting to be able to work a couple things. Gets a, a bounce off a body, comes out of, out of the zone, Eric Bruckman comes herring through. It's one on one. Eric and the goalkeeper. Oh, he just loses it off the end of his stick. I think he was trying to take the goalkeeper one way and just slide the puck in on that same side, but it didn't quite work. Looking for a, a naivety of goalkeeping, I think. So Hayden trying to get that one out, but it's called offside just as it came across the line. Woo! That was a good one. Okay. <clears throat> 728 left. Oh. The Blacks just have a penalty as well. I missed that one completely. Uh, it's four on four hockey now for a minute and three. So Blacks trying to come and keep that one in, which they do. Goes round the back of the goal with Oliver Cowan. Oliver trying to get that one round this side to Isaac. Isaac almost gets that one out of the zone. But they're number 20. I think that's uh, Tompkins keeps that one in. And the blue liner keeps it in again as we tried to clear. But it now comes to Liam Jarvis. Liam, oops, 
misses his handle on that one, gets it up Oliver on the boards. And then Isaac's there to pick it up and start a breakaway. Oliver now picks that one up, goes between his legs. Nice little move. Round the back of the net. <coughs> Keeping that one in the corner. He's got black defenders all around him. No reds anywhere inside that black defense perimeter. He needs a little bit of an assistance here, boys. That'd be nice to be able to get. Keith McElhaney punches that one far side. Liam Jarvis picks that one up. He's got a little bit of time to work out. Oh, whiffs his hard pass down. The Black's able to clear it. Puck comes out. And I think they're calling that one out of play. <coughs> so face off again to the Black goalkeeper's right. So Ryan Stewart here for the face-off. Gets it back to Cooper Thomas with a good shot in. Bounced out. Comes back up the boards. Oh, Cooper Thomas lets that one go. Got a breakout here. Uh, but uh, Hayden is there to really make a big challenge. Penalty called. Probably against Hayden. but it looks like it's actually called on Ryan. <clears throat> no, it's called on Hayden. Yeah, he was the man taking him into the boards. That's the only reason I suspected that one. <clears throat> so, 31 seconds left on the black penalty, two minutes now to Hayden. So for the moment, it's four on four. Reds pick that one up, get that one down and out. Alex Kuss is chasing up, just loses his skating foot, allowing the black defense to get in there. Oh, slowed it down just enough there from Ryan Stewart that uh, the blacks can get hold of it, but a uh, little sort of transition of possession. Oh, very nicely in. Kai did a great job on Roberts there on the black team. Roberts now has that down behind goal. Ryan Stewart getting that one nicely from Kusis back on the uh, the defensive position. <coughs> oh, and uh, young Mr. Williams there managing to use his stick very effectively to trap that puck. Gets it across to... One of his compatriots takes a wild shot wide back to Mr. Williams, and it's stolen by Kusis. Kusis now all alone at the moment, holding that up just at the uh, entrance of the zone. He's trying to get that one in. He keeps it in nicely, gets himself past and a good shot. Caught by the goalkeeper. Some great work. Great work by Alex there. Kept it in single-handedly and still managed to get a good shot off at the end of it. 56 seconds on Hayden's. Penalty. <clears throat> yeah, great. I'm. Uh, it's the only thin thing about the referee, but I think it was uh, a thin choice. So, Black's now punching that one back down in behind the goal. Riley Lawton picking that one up, can it round the four checker? Um, the Blue liner, I guess, of the Blacks, picking that one up along the boards, intercepting it, getting it back out. It's coming out in front of Kai. Oh, very nasty little shot there, but Kai getting a good pad to it. Tempted shot, really not going anywhere except into bodies. And it comes up with Red's possession. We lose out. Riley called on once again to take that. Oh, good pad save there from Kai, pushing it round the back of the goal. Some dangerous pressure coming in here from, from the Black team, but uh, the Reds now pick it up. Oliver Cowan bringing that one out. He's got Liam to his right-hand side. Oh! Second shot attempt there from, uh, from Oliver. Rebound from the goalkeeper on the first one. he get it back and uh, try to backhand. No joy, unfortunately. But uh, the Blacks get it up and in. So Kenny Greer gets that one up to Eric Brookman. Eric with a head of steam. He's got Kenny up in the middle. Trying to get that one through and in. Eric circling and taking a shot, deflected by the stick up and into the nets. Great attempt there, boys. Some good work going on here. <clears throat> so all square on the, uh, on the ice, five on five. 
left. You can probably see that on the screen, but I'll just tell you anyway. 3.39 left in the first period. Eric Brookman wins that one back to Cooper Thomas. Cooper! Low shot, just a little bit wider goal. Comes over to Oliver Cowan on the far side. Oliver, oh, trying to get it back up to uh, uh, Ryan. Ryan can't quite keep that one in the center zone. The uh, black skaters and the puck conspire to, uh, to bounce it all the way over to this near side. So black four checker now behind the goal. Good stick there by Coop Thomas. Keep that one out. Um, get it to Eric Brookman via Kenny Gribb. Eric Brookman breaking in. Eric's all on his own. He's got Kenny shooting in. Uh, but Eric decides to take a shot. Riley Lawton trying to keep that one in before it stops over the blue line, but can't quite do that. We keep possession anyway. Oliver Cowan dancing in now, using a little bit of speed, a little bit of uh, stick handling. Trying to get that one puck back down the line to uh, Oliver behind the goal. Can't get there. Melee of bodies in this corner here. Kenny Greer getting in on the action, stopping their escape protocol from working. And... Puck comes out, Isaac Woods, oops, getting that one to Cooper Thomas. We clear our zone. Cooper Thomas all, all alone. Nobody there trying to get it over to center. I think we had Isaac doubling up on that far side. Riley, great shot or great uh, interception there, punching that one to safety and uh, having an icing for the pleasure of it. <coughs> So, oh, there's the putt coming out. Blacks have it with Williams. A good shot. Oh, and caught nicely there by Kai. I was trying to get a photograph there, but the posts around the glass just getting in my in my way. So another attempt here. Then we got. Uh, Caden Hoover trying to bring that one out and up, but the Blacks punching it back down in deep. Back to Riley behind the goal. Riley changing direction, getting it to Isaac. Isaac up the far side, getting it to Liam. Liam not quite winning out the battle there. A good shot in just above Kai's head. Comes over to Caden on this side. Caden trying to get it past their blue liners, get it out of the zone. They cannot do that. Timmy Tompkins picks it up. <clears throat> So James, James Tompkins, I don't know why I said Timmy. Uh, Kai beating that one away with his stick. Comes into this far corner. Riley Lawton picking that one up. Oh, losing his edge. Getting it back to Isaac on the defensive roll behind Riley there. Isaac on that far side. Getting it to uh, Liam Geyer. Liam all the way out here to uh, trying to get it to Caden in the center. Punched back in deep by the, uh, by the Blacks. Caden now. Power skating up ice. Hayden taking it all the way up. Hayden all being pushed off. Penalty called. Slashing, I'm sure that's going to be on the defensive side there. So, the Reds go up a man for two minutes. That'll do nicely. That'll do nicely. So Reds win it. Chris Werblier back to uh, Liam Jarvis on the blue line here. Comes to, uh, who's that? 23, Ryan Stewart up on offense, trying to get it back across to Chris. Oh, gets back out to uh, Ryan and bobbled out. It's going to come down. No icing. Liam Jarvis is going to be there to pick that one up. Look to wheel behind his, uh, oh, I think he rushed that one a little bit, got it back to a, a black blue liner. Chris Werblier trying to get it past two or three people, almost succeeding, but uh, oh, love it. Mr. Bacon managing to push that one back in on goal and go for a quick line change. Very good executed line change there by the Blacks. James McElhaney skating up ice, working some good hard stick battles there. Offside call, one minute eight left on the penalty, 26.5 seconds left in the first period. Score still stands, 
two to zero. So face off right underneath me here. Oliver getting that one almost up to, uh, to Eric, who would have been away and clear. But uh, Ryan Dickman on the far side there, just punching that one up, trying to get it to Eric. Comes back to Oliver. Oliver punching that one over this near side to Kenny. Kenny getting there first, making sure his stick isn't played. Cooper Thomas coming in, being outplayed there by the attacker, Prasma. And, uh, oh, ho, 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 safe by the buzzer. I think once that buzzer went, the, uh, the shot was less focused on than it would have been. That could have been a dangerous situation. Oh, wow. So, ladies and gentlemen, there we have the end of that first period. What do you think? I think the 13 double A's are where we should be against a 12 triple. I'm kind of happy with where we are. It is by no means over. It's by no means a conclusion. But it's a great start. We don't have any shots on the board, but I really don't think the shots on Kai have been that many. Maybe a good thing, it may be a bad thing. Kai does need to see shots. Any goalkeeper needs to see shots in a game. How apt with both Carolina teams, huh? Okay, here we go for second period. <clears throat> Eric, Oliver, Kenny, with Cooper and Ryan Dickman on defense. So Red's getting possession. Kenny trying to take that one out and does get it through the blue liners. A shot in on goal. Caught by the goalkeeper, frozen down. Puck is going to be to his left-hand side on this face-off of Oliver Cowan. Getting that puck. Actually, Hurricanes losing out on that puck. They're trying to clear the zone, but Ryan Dickman is there to hold that one in. Punch it back down, looking to get it up to Eric, and it comes to Eric. Eric now yeah, losing out to the foot of the defenseman there. So he got it past his stick, but not past his foot. Very nice pass. Getting it from Jones up. Shot on Kai. Kai pushed that one away. Gets out to Ryan Dickman. Passes that one off to Eric Brookman. Eric's off to the horses. Off to the races, I should say. Oh, great shot there with a back, backhand. Tripped by the defender number 13. Jones. Who's going to take two minutes? to reflect on that and the speed that our Mr. Bruckman has and how he can deal with it because deal with it he has to that's all quiet on the chat <clears throat> It's fun when you guys shout at the referee through, through the chat too. Gives me something to talk about. So, Black's here managing to uh, pretty much mostly get that one through and into our zone, but uh, just losing out. Nice little tap there by uh, Liam Geyer to get that one out, but uh, turned over to the, uh, to the Blacks. Coming back down here. No icing is going to be called. Hayden Pascal is going to pick that one up. Challenged by a four checker, gets it to Liam. Maybe just trying to take a little bit too much time on a couple of these things, but thankfully the puck slips away from the uh, the black stick and Isaac flashing left and right, more like Zorro than Flash. That's what he is. It's not a straight line flash action from Isaac. 
it's more like the Zorro cutting of the Z, you know, that flish, flash, flish, the swish. So there he is once again, almost getting a hooking call against him. Hayden Pascal there, getting that puck up to Liam Geyer. Liam on the boards, this side getting it over to the far side, Caden Hoover. Caden getting it to Isaac. Coming back to Riley. Riley trying to get that one up and out of the, the zone he does. And I think that was called an offside because Mr. Tompkins was on the ice. <clears throat> so the puck's going to come. Sheila, Elk Camp in Colorado. Oh my word, I don't know Elk Camp, but I will be researching it later on. Is that a... Is that a usual location for you, Sheila? Or is that uh, a little séjour, a little jaunt that you're having? So the Blacks winning the puck and getting it back in. Still 26, 5, 24 seconds left on the Black penalty, but uh, we're really not showing it much as, as a power play here. Sort of gone into a bit of a doldrums, in, uh, in all honesty, as I sit here. So the Blacks now in defense with four seconds left on that penalty. Liam Jarvis is going to come back and get that one. No icing was called very early. Liam, unfortunately, giving that one away for a second to the little number eight of the Blacks. Ryan Stewart picking that one up, getting it out to uh, Chris Werblier. Chris has got Alex Kusis on this near side. Chris is going around the back. He's going around the back. He's looking to lose people. Gets it up to Liam Jarvis. Liam gets that one in. Intercepted on its way through to goal. The Blacks pull that one up and away. Coming through the center. Good shot. Oh, nicely. I think Kai got his glove to that one. Pushed that one up and over the goal. That was, again, another interesting and dangerous Shot trying to get it between Kai and the goalpost there, but Kai very equal to that task. Getting stuck in our own end here. Blacks keeping us stuck in, and uh, somebody pushes that one out. Didn't quite see who that was, but Ryan Stewart, oh, skating pretty fast up to apply pressure. And uh, unfortunately, not able to skate away with the puck. But Ryan Dickman pushing that one all the way around, getting it to Alex. Alex. Coming out with that, losing the puck. And uh, Ryan Dickman getting it to Chris Werblier. Chris coming in deep, having that puck behind the net, pushes it out in front. Oh, and it came bubbled up. Oh, unlucky, just scooted past Cooper on that far side. Gets back to, Cooper gets back to recuperate it. Pun intended and very poorly executed. Trying to get that one up to Eric Brockman, but can't do that. Oliver Cowan now getting that one now through to Eric. Eric is on his backhand, trying to get it up and in. And he can't get there. Another shot going in. Pushed wide by the goalkeeper. It's going to come round to Hayden, who's uh, kind of half impeded by the referee from being able to pick that up and skate it in with any speed and strength. That's going to be called no ice. So we got some, some prowlers up there, Oliver Cowan getting in there, getting a stick on that attempted pass out. Eric Brookman trying to get in the possession, but Oliver coming away with that clean possession, gets it up to the blue line. Cooper Thomas, Cooper Thomas trying to get that one in. Bodies, Kenny Greer picks that puck up, and it gets pushed away from him. The Blacks pick it up in the shape of Mr. Williams. They bring it out. Mr. Roberts picking it up down this near side. Williams picks it up again. Williams coming in. Oh, very good shot. Some great feet by Cooper Thomas to keep that one from going anywhere dangerous, but it was out in front of our goal for a few seconds there. Looked dangerous enough to me. Kai nicely pushing that one away. It's coming up these near boards. Eric Bruckman taking a position to help out. Oliver Cowan back down behind goal, and the whistle is blown. On <coughs> Eric Bruckman. 9.24 remaining in the second period. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Sheila. Runs watching from the cabbing near Hayden, Colorado. Uh, you're a girl that doesn't hunt. Ever since you got the big catch in Ron, you don't need to hunt anymore, right? 
That's awesome. Okay, so picking the game back up again. 9.17 left in the second period. Black's coming in and they get one through. Not sure who scored that. Could easily have been the Williams goal. He was on the prowl there. But 2-1 is the score. <clears throat> So you can't let this game go too far. You've got to keep on top of it. So face off. <coughs> Coming down that far side, trying to Red's trying to get it out. <coughs> We're getting it out to uh, the center zone. Puck comes in strong. Riley Lawton down that far side. Riley getting two. Pesky little fast guys on him, but managing to get it out to Caden. Caden getting it out of center. So now we have Isaac, Zorro, Woods coming in, getting it to Liam Geyer. Oh, and Liam slots that one home. Great pass from Isaac. Phenomenal pairing there. Really good work together. Isaac drew him, Isaac drew. And as the puck got over to uh, Liam, the back door was so wide open. You could have driven a battleship through it. <clears throat> Three, one to the Reds. The uh, <clears throat> Blacks not liking what they have there, so coming on with a little bit of force right now. So Isaac is now behind the goal, gets the puck stolen away from him. The Blacks. Getting that puck in and close, trying to find the little gaps in and around the goalkeeper. We, uh, we managed to get that one all the way in, round and down for an icing. <clears throat> it's going to come back to Kai's left. So Black's picked that one up. Great shot there. Pad saved away by Kai. Black attempted shot. Gets as far as uh, Chris Webley, the man in front of him. But uh, the Black's doing some great work there on the boards. Keeping that puck in what they consider the dangerous place. Whistle against the Canes. Some kind of checking penalty going to be here against Ryan Stewart. Yes, <clears throat> way to answer back. But uh, this isn't this isn't the continuation of that good answer, Ryan Stewart. In the box <clears throat> for his two minutes of reflection. So Reds win that one, but can't keep possession to take it out. Oh, shot came in. That was uh, a little bit. Uh, just to the side of the goal, but ah, Puck nicely bouncing a couple of sticks here. Chris Werbley are coming out fast to try and get possession. Does. Gets it back to Cooper Thomas. Cooper gets that one back over to uh, Ryan Dickman. Ryan gets that one through Alex Kousis, trying to get it deep into black zone, but can't come back into red zone. Offside called far side on Mr. Williams. <clears throat> <clears throat> so Blacks with possession trying to get past Hayden, Hayden nicely backhanding that one to Kenny, Kenny trying to get that one up through the middle to Oliver Oliver trying to track the, uh, the skating of number 44 through, but Kenny now picks that one back up in his own defensive zone. Kenny's got a lot of space. He's the only one up. He's down in the corner, holding that one in. We've got uh, Oliver helping out there, and a whistle gone. <clears throat> it's going to go against the Blacks.
So yeah, for us, it's uh, Ryan Stewart's in the box, and uh, they just put bacon in the box. Who on earth would ever put bacon in the penalty box? I don't know. <clears throat> And welcome to James. Hi, James. Good for you to join us. It's 3-1 in the second period with 6.49 remaining, 4-on-4 four four on the ice. But the good guys in red are leading 3-1 on the scoreboard. Okay. So Red's looking to get some possession there out front of the, the black goal. Comes up into the corner, the blacks are there first and they start skating out with it. Eric Brookman skating nicely just inside the blue line, keeping that one in. Goes around the back of the goal, gets it across the front of the goal. That's going to come to James. James McElhaney trying to get that one down, getting it along those far boards. James not able to beat three of those defenders. Eric with a great shot in on goal, gloved by the keeper there. That's going to be a face-off to the keeper's left. Isaac in the centre for that one. <coughs> so seven second, 007 left on Ryan Beckman's penalty. Isaac winning that one into the corner, but picked up in possession by the Blacks. But Isaac fighting away to get that puck, trying to push that one up and around. Cooper Thomas trying to block that one coming out. Dangerous, dangerous attack here. 27, Ryan Dickman back on defense. Cooper Thomas assisting out as well. We have five skaters back on the ice for 53 more seconds. Ryan Stewart getting that one across. Um, Isaac bats that one out of the air with uh, a legal stick. It was about waist height. And that one comes out to, uh, to uh, Ryan Dickman, far side to Cooper Thomas. Cooper punting that one up through, trying to get it through, and it does. It comes to Ryan Stewart. Ryan gets a nice one. Nice one. He was alone. He was out in front. You don't get many that he doesn't score from a position like that. 4-1. To the to the seniors, the, the 13s, the Reds. <clears throat> so Black's picking this one up, taking that one in, punching that one down deep. Hayden Pascal tying up the man, looking for Riley to take <clears throat> the puck. Good work by Riley keeping that puck so that, uh, who's that, 81? Isaac's able to come in there and uh, Skate away with it, comes back around to Riley. Riley leaves it to Hayden. Hayden passing it back the other way, but followed by a black. Ooh -hoo. <clears throat> Hayden just trucked one of the, uh, the black offensive crew. <clears throat> Liam trying to win a stick battle against these little pesky 12U AAA skaters which isn't an easy task. I think we would have learned a little bit like that right now. Riley looking to uh, escape his zone. That puck coming back into uh, Hayden. Hayden trying to get it along the boards, but intercepted by the Blacks. Oh, and it's out front. Comes out to Isaac. Isaac, here he goes. He's flashing that Zorro all up and down the ice. That what makes him so good. Oh, and Caden. Oh. Great position for Caden to be on a backhand there, but he couldn't quite get it up enough to get it past the keeper. And they save it and freeze it. Woo! Good attack. Really good attack there. <clears throat> so the back's coming away with that one, get it out into the center. Liam Jarvis trying a very good stick there from Liam. Last second push of the stick to stop a shot being uh, taken. Puck comes through the blue in front of Kai. But I think Kai was watching it all the way. Comes this near side corner again to the Blacks. Off a skate as they try pass it to the blue liner. 
James McElhaney coming out with that one, gets it to Ryan Stewart. Ryan Stewart coming in with support from Chris Werblier. Chris, good shot there, deflected pad save out by the keepers, coming over to this near side again. That's going to be Alex punching that one back down to Ryan. Ryan pinging it up, taking it out, looking to get it. Oh, good shot there by Alex again, pad saved by the keeper. Alex trying to get that one into the center. Backhand shot by Chris on the goalkeeper. Pad saved out, comes back up the blue line. James McElhaney trying to get it back down to Chris. Can't, it's intercepted by the uh, uh, black offense. Keith, uh, Keith, James McElhaney, really tenacious. I love his play for that tenacity. Did not give up when they got stolen, when the puck got stolen from him. Oh, bounced up and high on the shoulder from the keeper. Reds have it, Ryan Stewart trying to skate through a couple bodies, but can't quite de get there. But uh, James really showing the power and the, uh, the value of tenacity in, in making sure that he chased back and he got his stick to avoid a shot on his goalkeeper and came back away with the puck. That's what I love about that type of play. Here we are, back up to uh, Coop Thomas, out to Ryan Dickman. Ryan taking that one almost in, but the puck comes out, comes to Oliver. Oliver to Cooper, Cooper up to Kenny. Kenny skating past his man, getting it to Eric. Eric bodied off it by the black defender number four. Um, black, they get it off their, uh, out of their zone, up into center. Some nice work here, coming together. The, uh, <clears throat> the larger boys, I think, have an advantage in stick length, leg length, or arm length and leg length. Just uh, being able to nullify what looks to be a pretty potent type of attack. Puck coming back out here. Cooper Thomas taking that one deep into the corner. Getting that one across to Eric Bruckman behind the goal. Eric changing direction. Looking to pass that one back, but intercepted by the defense there. Cooper Thomas getting a stick on it. Eric Bruckman trying to also get a stick on it and hold it up. But uh, the Black's able to push that one out. Oliver Cowan, oh, trying to get it into zone, but uh, cheated by a stick, and the Blacks coming in, trying to get a good shot on Kai, comes off his pads. Riley Lawton into the corner. Riley not giving up, <clears throat> getting it to Oliver. Oliver backhanding that one up and round to Liam Geyer. Liam trying to get that one across to Kenny, and a penalty against the Blacks. 58.2 seconds remaining in the second period. Score four to one. And it's about to be a five on four for the Reds. And the Reds, if you just joined us, Tina, are the U13s. <clears throat> Us. So Black's picking that one up, punching that one down in deep on the far board. Riley going across to intercept with uh, the four checker. Four checker keeps it, tries to get it out through the feet of Hayden Pascal. Pascal brings it up and out now, gets it to um, Caden Hoover. Caden looking to protect that puck, gets his arm out, gets that puck all the way down in deep, gets it through, keeping with his feet. But uh, too many black bodies there to uh, <coughs> to allow him through. Hayden back on defensive duty, getting a great stick in there, trying to get it up and out of the zone. Can't quite get it out. The Blacks bring it back in, looking dangerous as they go. Hayden again back on recovery, picking that puck up, getting it out of zone. Right Back over to the Blacks' possession. They wheel around. Caden Hoover putting some good pressure on. They shoot it up, execute some form of line change. And there's the end of the period. So one minute and two seconds left on the penalty to the Blacks. 4-1 for the Reds at the end of this second period. <clears throat> Jason. Glad you could make it, Jason. You're here for the finale. So shout out to the ladies on the far side of the rink over there. You can just see them. They're, oh, there they are. We've got uh, team managers here to cheer on the boys. 
Don't ask how they got in. Oh, they're on the roster. That's it. Um, so you participate, you get in to watch them play, folks. I think there's a message there if you really want to do it. There's a contribution that you can make. <clears throat> so it's very unusual just seeing two of our folks, two of our coaches on the bench here today. <clears throat> Here, yeah, referee's whistle goes. Kai Salmon resumes his position. <clears throat> so, starting off this period, Kenny Greer, Eric Brockman, and Oliver Cowan, with James McElhaney, and Liam Jarvis at back. So puck coming all the way up. That's not going to be called any icing. So we have Eric all the way up there. Trying to keep that one in. Kenny in attendance looking to break away or stop any breakaway going. Liam Jarvis trying to get a handle on that puck. Couldn't quite get one but had to throw the puck in anyway. Came dangerously through and then went behind the goal. The Black Star to break up. The far side there, Oliver Cowan being tripped up, and that's going to be called an icing, at least. <clears throat> Just going to come back to the black goalkeeper's left. Uh, Black win that puck. Punch it all the way around to the far side. Get it up and out to uh, Ryan Dickman. Ryan trying to get it back to uh, his teammates, but the Blacks getting that one up and through off of Kai's pads. Ryan punching that one again all the way up the ice. That's going to be saved from icing. So the Blacks now wheel back around behind their goal, try and bring it up these near boards. That's kept in by Cooper Thomas, gets cross far side for which Chris Werblier has to chase and successfully gets there. Chris, dingle dangle. Oh, great attempt there by Chris on the goalkeeper, but just unable to find a gap through. So Blacks win that face off, comes all the way up the line. They have it on the boards, pass it out to center over here, and that's uh, Cooper Thomas in defense. Great little poke check there by Cooper Thomas to get that puck away. But uh, the resultant bounce goes in the Blacks' favor. But Zorro Woods now behind the goal, picking that one up, getting it to Cooper Thomas, getting it to Liam. Liam back to uh, Isaac. Isaac trying to get that one across over this side to uh, Caden Hoover, but unable to do so. That puck's going to come behind the goal. Ryan Dickman, puck pounces out from one of the black uh, defenders, the blue liners. Goes all the way back into his own end. Caden Hoover applying pressure to stop that breakout. And a half a mishandle there allows that puck to be picked up by uh, Liam. Liam breaks in. Punches that one deep. Caden on that far side looking to intercept. Can't quite get there. There's a little bit out of his reach. And then the Blacks break it up on that far side. Shape of uh, Hayden over to Kenny on this side. Kenny bringing it back up to Ryan, uh, uh, Eric, sorry, Eric Bruckman. Coming in, circling the wagons again around the back of the goal. Up this side, across the, underneath the blue line. Finding a way to keep the puck all the way just over the top with a great shot. Hayden. Alex to bring that one safely out of the zone. We all clear it, go back in. Nicely defeating that offside capability. Comes back to Hayden. Hayden tries to get a good shot off, but uh, can't get enough meat behind it. That's off to Eric Bruckman. Eric with a shot goes off the glass behind the goal. Oliver trying to take a shot with a bouncing puck. It's never an easy thing to do. 
and a penalty or a whistle at least <coughs> called. Huh. Not sure what that's about, but it's a face off just outside our zone. Huh. Go figure, Keith. Don't know what that was about. Can't watch everything. So Black's coming in. Good low shot. Kai electing to bounce that one up and over the top. I think it maybe took him a little bit by surprise in doing that. So uh, you saw him making that move again to see how he could have made that happen. If he was a bit closer to the goal, it looks like it may could have possibly have been a bit more dangerous into the top of the net. But it stayed out. Score stays at 4-1. That's always a good thing. George, finished your dinner, man. And Doug. Good to see you online, Doug. Love those restaurants down there, George, in Charleston. Hope you had a great one. So Hurricanes here picking that one up along the uh, boards behind our own goal. James McElhaney trying to get that one up and out. Gets it through. And uh, it's for Chris Werblier to chase. Chris comes through with the puck, doesn't realize it. Turns around to get it up and it, it had overtaken him. So the puck is now down and in behind the black goal. Chris Werblier moving in to uh, arrest it from the uh, possession of the blacks. It's now on the blue line here. Alex Kusis, better watch behind him, um, takes it into zone. Chris Werblier is through and clear. Oh, what a good shot. And the goalkeeper choked it up a little bit, but was able to pounce on it before it went anywhere dangerous. 7.46 remaining in the third period. Still up by four to one. <clears throat> Face off one by Isaac Woods. Puck behind the Black's goal. They now come up and at Kai. Kai gives a good uh, pad rebound out there, but the resultant shot went pretty wide. Ryan Dickman switching sides, getting it over to, uh, to Caden Hoover. Caden trying to bypass his black four checker. A couple bodies, three bodies, four bodies involved along that board battle, getting it up. Just jumps the defender's stick to get out. They punch it back in hard, but Caden's there to uh, to pick it up. Caden and Liam. Liam now back to Caden. Caden with a good shot. Pad saved by the goalkeeper. He had to be down and ready for that one. Black's managing to uh, get that one up through, dump it in deep, go for a line change. 6.59 left in the game. Nice pass by uh, Liam Geyer over to uh, Caden this side, but it jumps his stick. Blacks come in offside. <clears throat> Puck drop right below me. Blacks win that one. Take that one in deep, around the back of the goal. Riley's there to uh, pick that up, defends it, holds it, ties it up. Looking for some support, which comes in the shape of Oliver. Gets it up to Kenny and Eric. Eric goes flying up this near side. Eric, oh, great shot. And Kenny had a great opportunity on the back door, but just not enough time to execute on it. Riley, Riley with a good shot. Stick, stick intercepted by Oliver on the way through. I think he was maybe trying to do a tip, but uh, got a lot of meat on it. Took it out in the air. Black's working a good routine to bring this one up and out now. Coming into the red zone. And Oliver Cowan picks that one up again. He's overtaken by a Black four checker. Puck stolen away from him. Black's now re enter the red zone. And another change of possession. Um, Oliver getting that one up to Alex in the center zone. Alex trying to keep it up there. Riley holding that one nicely. 
avoiding any prolonged possession for a line change, getting it up deep. No icing for that, so that's a good territorial advantage now. Gets over to Hayden. Hayden taking that one up, going through a gap, looking to make more of that than he actually got from it. So Riley really doing a nice job of defending the pass, keeping that one away. Bucky's out of the side of Kai, and Kai puts his glove on it to freeze it down. Five thirteen remaining in the game. Four one the lead. <coughs> no penalties in action. It's been a good workout for the boys. I think we can see some adjustments coming tomorrow from the black team. But for now we definitely have that upper hand. <coughs> So Black's now coming in, they're free and clear. Oh, and they get another one. They're number nine, 97, sorry. Very, very nicely executed goal. Got to give them the credit where it's due. <coughs> Kraus, I think was the guy's name. Yep, 90, 97 Kraus. Getting that one. And here come the black again. Oh, great shot. Rebound pad saved by, or blocker saved by Kai. But coming out the back side, seeing a, uh, a distinct option for getting a goal on that back side. So the Reds now trying to pick up that game a little bit more, get some possession going up into the black territory. But the blacks are very clever in using their sticks and taking possession away from our team. So a good shot there on Kai, pad save out to Ryan Dickman, two on one here, Ryan fighting to keep that, just not enough bodies around there from, from the red team in my opinion, I don't know what the coaching advice is on this one, but uh, we're losing out numerically, uh, <clears throat> along the backboards there, Cooper Thomas losing that fight to their number eight I think it is, we're waiting for the puck to come to us rather than taking it away. Cooper Thomas trying to get that one out. Comes out to uh, one of the blacks. Has a great shot but deflected by a defender prepared to put his body in the way. Two blacks get in the way of each other there. And Liam Geyer punches that one up and out. Caden Hoover is able to pick that one out. But Isaac, Isaac Woods coming in here is able to get his stick on it. Oh, great work by Isaac. Passes that one off the back to Eric Brockman. Isaac picks that one up, leaves it for Eric. Eric goes the other way. Eric looking to get a good shot, goes behind the goal. Isaac being able to pick that one up, looking to pass it up to uh, um, uh, Hayden on the blue line, but uh, just enough of a delay to push that one through confusion onto the blue line. Riley Lawton on that far side, gets it back to Hayden on this side. Hayden bouncing it off the boards, trying to get it to Eric, but can't release him. That puck's coming in on Kai, who freezes it down. 2.53 remaining, 4-2 the score. <clears throat> I don't know about you all, but I prefer a game when it's a little bit closer or has some sort of tournament-type meaning to it. So Hayden picking that one up, trying to go around the back of his own goal, but he's dispossessed by those black four checkers. They, they do have a way of getting in there and taking the puck away. And they come out with it, and a good shot. Score for three. We cannot go to sleep on this, boys. We cannot go to sleep. There's enough time. Clock! Not that I really want it to stop, but 3-4 with 2.40 remaining. That's about another five or 10 seconds because the guy forgot to stop the clock. Can't be complacent, folks. That's what this one's about. We sort of lulled us to sleep in these last few minutes. But more than the last few minutes, I think this period we haven't really been on top of our game. So we push that one down deep. <coughs> Looking to... Uh, Keep that one in, Alex Kusis has that one. Looking for a way round, looking for a route out. 
the blacks conspire with bodies, with numbers, once again, to take the puck away from us. We half stall them at the blue line, but they get it in deep. Good shot in, Kai, res <laughs> Kai responds really nicely to that shot, freezes it down. Getting to be an exciting game, isn't it? 3-4. So the Blacks now with another opportunity coming up high, just wide of the goal. Cooper Thomas picking it up far side. Cooper bringing that one up to Liam Gale. Liam poking that one past his man, gets it out of the zone. Isaac Woods trying to pick it up and skate away with it. Oh, and he's able to do so. Holds it just for a second, clears a bit of space for himself, gets it up through to Liam. Liam chasing that one down and uh, Isaac coming in. Behind him to pick it up. Isaac, Isaac going around the back of the goal. Isaac trying to get that one through to Caden, who was in front of goal. But Isaac still has that. Look at the way Isaac is going here. This is phenomenal. <clears throat> Pushing that one over this near side. Brian Dickman's going to be on the blue line here to pick it up. Brian just jumps his stick on the way out. We've got Cooper Thomas. Cooper Thomas taking that one up, trying to get it back to Caden, who's unable to get there in time. But now... Gets that puck possession pass to him. Manages to clear the zone. Ryan Dickman over to Cooper Thomas. Cooper trying to get that one up to somebody, but we were on a line change, so there was nobody up. The Blacks now have a good stick. I think that was by Eric Brookman, just to avoid that shot going in. Good work by uh, Oliver. Gets that one out of zone. But... Uh, <coughs> just offside. I think there's... Right, yeah, it was just offside, so timeout has been called. 48.3 seconds left. Timeout. Not sure who called it. But both coaches talking to their players about this final 48.3 seconds of play. <clears throat> so the whistle signifies that timeout is over. The blacks are ready. They've broken. The reds still getting a few final words of instruction. <clears throat> We're now ready. Eric Brugman, Oliver Cowan, Kenny Greer up front, Riley Lawton, Hayden Pascal, defense, Kai, Salmon, still in goal. Eric, oh, and the, uh, the Blacks have got empty net, and Kenny puts that one home for a 5 3 advantage. Empty net there by the Blacks. I actually didn't see that one take place. But uh, they put the goalkeeper back out there. That took us eight seconds to score. So, yeah, they've still gone empty net right now. <clears throat> Four attackers, two defenders. And Oliver Cowan, another one down the gut. 6-3. Thirty-seven seconds. So in eleven point three seconds, eleven point eight seconds, we've notched an additional two goals. That is not going to happen every time you have an empty net. Just think we can be very fortunate for having it happen for us today. So Riley now down behind his own goal, holding up the man, allowing the puck to be pulled up by. The, uh, the Reds and Eric Bruckman going in with a backhand off the goalkeeper. 18 seconds left. Eric Bruckman getting it back to Hayden. Hayden with a good shot in far corner. 12 seconds. Oliver Cowan giving that one up to Kenny. Kenny, that one's going to come up the boards. No, it's going to stay down in the corner. Four seconds. 
Three, two, one second. And it's in Riley's possession. Inside the blue line as the buzz goes for a 6-3 win. A very good score, but a very big warning should be taken from what it was like with a minute to go. Right, 4-3. think we were lucky there, folks. I think we would have won either way, but we mustn't, mustn't get carried away by that margin, okay? So a great game from the AAA. Saw you. Taught us a few things about our own complacency. All right, so the next game is tomorrow round about lunchtime. I don't know exactly the time because I'm awful at remembering anything like that. Um, so we'll be back here. Same two teams. Same, uh, not sure it's the same rink. So that game is at 11 a.m. in the morning. 11 a.m. here in Eastern. So uh, we'll catch you back then. Uh, until then, be safe, be warm, and uh, hope you enjoyed it. Bye-bye.